I'd like to welcome you all back here today. You're here with George from Digifort. As you can see here, we're going to now go through and have a look at how to configure a Digifort analytics server. First step is to make sure that we have installed our Digifort analytics server by so and pressing the play. This now identifies that the Digifort analytics server is running. Okay, let's go through the licensing of the analytics server. As you can see here, we have a drop down menu which allows us to create an analytics server. By default, the Digifort software will automatically go out and have a look if there are any other analytics servers within our network. So here we can put in a local host or any kind of configuration, maybe analytics server one or two, depending on how big your project how big your site is. Then we would put in the IP address of our analytics server and hit the OK button. Once we do that, we'll have an option that will pop up here. When I double click on it, it will ask me for authentication. So by default, the username is admin with no password. Let's have a look here. So now we have what we call the communications port. This is what the Digifort servers and the Digifort analytics communicate on. We can modify this if we choose to, due to you know maybe a network guy using that 8610, but in all given in most cases, I strongly recommend leaving everything as default. Over here we have a look at the processor. So as you can see, there are, by default it is Digifort Analytics. I have uh, changed the name to Digifort Analytics Server because we do have multiple analytics servers within our one network. So it's always a good idea that when you're working with an analytics server to identify that server as a unique server. And in doing that, it's very important to have your, the own name or your own name. Further down here, we can configure an administration password. So this is the level of authentication when you try to access the Digifor Analytics server. Once we're happy with all the configurations made, hit the Save button. There are two types of licenses for Digifort Analytics server. One being a basic license. The basic license consists of two options. Object taken, object left, and face detection. Applying for a 30-day license for a basic analytics is very easy. All you have to do is click the Add button and fill in a registration data. Once you select the registration data, you can f easily fill in all your details and apply for a demo license. Once you've applied for the demo license, the registration will be applied to our Digifort server, which is located out there in the internet. All right, and it will provide you with a 30-day license completely free of charge for you to test and evaluate how object left, object taken, or face detection works within the software. So fill in all your information like so. Put in his sales at Digifort. Okay, plus 612-912-63404. Country is Australia. Okay, and it's a demo VCA. Apply for a demo license and hit the send button. Once you hit the send button, it sends it off to our Digifort server. Now, as you can see here, it says that your license will be available within two working days. But in actual fact, if you click the online licenses right away, you'll be able to download your free demo version of the analytics server. Or alternatively, if you have a, a Digifort representative or an account manager, email them all the machine codes and we can actually override or generate the license for you. If you have a Digifort account manager, it's very simple. Copy the machine code, email it to your Digifort account manager and ask them for what type of license you like, 30 days. Only Digifort can override the license structure. The next method of licensing is an advanced engine. The advanced engine is more or less used for more advanced functionality in video content analytics. For example, with advanced engine, we can do object counting, loitering, camera tampering, visual barriers, speed detection. We can do stopped objects, video content analytics object classifications now that one there is a very important one and I will discuss a little bit later on exactly what that means research and reporting in bar graphs line graphs pie graphs we also support smart edge device VCA so if the camera that you're using on your site supports video content analytics from a camera's point of view we can also receive the information from that camera and trigger off alarms within the Digifort software Applying for an advanced license is very easy. 
all we need to do is click the add button once we click the add button by default we're automatically able to pinpoint based on the machine license that you're using that you've already obtained a demo 30-day license now in order to obtain an advanced license it's very important that we copy and paste all this string code and send it to your Digifort account manager or email the support team of Digifort that's support at digifort.com once again for everybody it's support at digifort.com please make sure that you do copy this into a notepad okay or to the email body and email it to the support team you will be able to obtain a 30-day demonstration license to try out our video content analytics on the software that you're currently using.